Hi, Philip. Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to meet you. Um, you. Maybe you can kick off with an intro to the film for people who don't know what to expect from Scoop. What are they going to see? They're going to see the story behind uh, the interview, the, the infamous interview that uh, Prince Andrew did for Newsnight. And, but but what I think is new and different about this is that uh, it tells the story of uh, uh, the, the women at the BBC who, who um, brought the interview in and uh, it's a fresh and a new perspective on it and, and it's a serious subject but I think we tell the story with energy and wit and, 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 and humour so it's an enjoyable film to watch. The thing that really struck me watching it is, even though I know exactly what happens at the end, I still was on the edge of my seat. It almost played out like a thriller. Was that something quite intentional? Yes, thank you. For, thank you so much. That's such a great reaction, and I'm glad you felt like that. That's what we wanted to do was to, yep, as you say, people know what the interview uh, is. You can watch it on YouTube, but in some ways to bring you into the interview with new eyes and to allow you to see it in a new way, to understand why all of those different characters are in that room and, and, and what everybody wants to get out of the interview, what they hope to get out of it, was really what we were trying to do. So that's great reaction. Thank you. And in terms of the tone, it does sort of like tread this tightrope because there are these sort of moments of humour, but of course the subject matter is very serious. In fact, yeah. you know, the heart of it is about sex trafficking. But some of that, I think, is born out of the answers that Prince Andrew gave, sort of like this slightly absurdist element to it. So what was important to you in terms of the tone? I think you're trying to balance um, the uh, complexity of tone. As you say, it's a serious subject. The interview itself also had, a, a, as well as becoming iconic, it was also uh, absurd and surreal and, and, and there was a strangeness to it. And I think trying to balance those things is, is, is really important. Trying to make a film that's serious but also has a lightness to it. I think that, you know, a, a, a serious film doesn't need to be all serious and a, a comedic film doesn't need to be all comedic. And in some ways, trying to balance those two sides of storytelling, I think often makes a, 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 a deeper and a richer and a more emotional experience. What an incredible cast across the board, but yes, cast, particularly yeah. seeing Emily and Rufus go head to head in that in that interview room. I mean, it's uncanny sort of, you know, how it was to the real thing. What was it like working with these actors? They're both, they're, they're both incredible. And as you suggest, you know, the interview is at the heart of the film. And of course, it's not what it's all about. But if we didn't do justice to the interview, then we didn't really have a film and they, they're both absolutely brilliant and we had a incredible moment where you know they they met for the first time or they didn't uh, as act in, in costume and in, in prosthetics uh, as the characters and did their first scenes together was the interview so yeah it was a, it was absolute thrill yeah. and in terms of the takeaways I guess it is you know putting a spotlight on the importance of holding people to account the importance of journalism but particularly you know paying tribute to the women who particularly drove this story definitely it's a story about the importance of journalism and this incredible group of women at the BBC who got the the the, the, the interview and you know, nobody knew at the start. Sam uh, McAllister wrote this incredible book about it, but no one knew at the start of the story that this interview was going to develop into the thing that it has developed. And I think that's an important lesson for everybody, you know, to, 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 for the audience to understand that, you know, when you look back at a huge interview like this, it seems as though it would be m mad not to do it. But actually at the beginning of the story, you know, no, no one was that interested in it. And Sam was uh, pursued, the, pursued the story. And so I, I feel that's how good journalism happens by people just, um, you know, following their instincts, having a lot, spinning a lot of plates, looking at a lot of things and then suddenly something will catch fire and, and turn into something big. How, how do you predict the reaction's going to be? Oh, you. I hope people really, you know, we, we work so hard on it. You work away for a year or so on, on, on something like this and it's really exciting to be able to show people and I really hope they enjoy it. Fantastic. Thanks for your time. Really enjoying the night. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.